The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. My name is Banaking Maximilian, your physics teacher. We are going to have a physics lesson in upper six. And before we have that, we are going to correct the assignment from the previous lesson. So this is the question that was given as assignment in the previous lesson. And I read the question. Incandescent and fluorescent lamps are commonly used light sources in most homes. Give the differences between the two light sources. And the response to that is as follows. Now with the incandescent bulb, they are cheaper. They cost low, they are cheaper to buy, and the fluorescent are expensive. The incandescent bulbs have low efficiency, while the fluorescent bulbs, they have very high efficiency or higher efficiency. The incandescent bulb consume more electrical energy than the fluorescent lamps. The uh, incandescent lamps achieve their excitation of their atoms by heating, while the fluorescent lamps achieve the excitation of their atom by the collision of cathode rays with gas in a discharge tube. Now, incandescent bulb, the last uh, for uh, a short time, that's a mistake there, incandescent bulbs last for a short time, while fluorescent bulbs last longer. Reason, because the coil of the incandescent bulb or the filament is easily destroyed by heat. Incandescent lamps produce more heat when they are working, while fluorescent lamps produce less heat. So those are the differences between the incandescent and the fluorescent lamps. <laughs> Now, our lesson is a concluding lesson in the wave phenomenon. And so, we will be carrying out integration activities in wave phenomena. And the plan of this lesson is as follows. We shall have objective, prerequisite, review of concepts, exercises, and assignments. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to explain the concepts in wave phenomena and use equation in wave phenomena to solve problems. The knowledge needed for this lesson is wave phenomena and uh, quantum physics. Now we begin by reviewing concepts in wave phenomena. 
And the first thing you are expected to know is classification of waves and that they are classified as in terms of their mode of propagation as transverse and longitudinal wave. In terms of medium of propagation, waves are classified as mechanical and electromagnetic, while in terms of energy transfer, they are classified as progressive and stationary. And you should be able to define those terms and give examples of each class of wind. Now, we saw the progressive wave equation and it is given by y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. y here is the displacement, a the amplitude, omega the angular frequency, t the time taken, k is the angular wave number, and x the distance. And of course, when a, an equation is given with a minus sign here, it means that the progressive wave is traveling to the right or to the positive x axis. And when it is given with a positive sign, it means it is traveling to the left or to the negative x axis. This circular wave number can be given by omega over v or 2 pi all over lambda, where lambda is the wavelength. And the phase difference phi is given by 2 pi over lambda theta x where theta x or x can be the path difference. Now, the principle of superposition states that whenever two or more waves traveling in the same medium met at a point, the amplitude of the resultant wave is the vector sum of the individual amplitudes. Now, bits is our bit uh, is the periodic rise and fall in loudness or intensity at a point due to superposition of two waves of slightly different frequencies traveling in the same medium. We equally have the equation of a stationary wave, which is obtained by combining two progressive waves traveling in opposite direction with the same frequency and amplitude. And it is y equal to 2a sine omega t cos kx. And uh, for stationary waves in the string, their fundamental frequencies obtained as b over 2l, where l is the length of the string. Now, the fundamental frequency is equally calculated as 1 over 2L, the square root of T over mu, where T is the tension in the string, and mu, the mass per unit length of the string. The n over, tone, n over tone frequency for waves in string is calculated as Fn equal to n plus 1, where Fn is the nth harmonic frequency. F0 is the fundamental frequency. For waves in closed pipes, their fundamental frequency calculated as F0 equal to V over 4L, where V is the speed of sound in air, and L is the length of the vibrating air column. The nth harmonic frequency is calculated as Fn equal to 2n plus 1f0. For waves in open pipes, the fundamental frequency is the same like that for waves in string. f0 equal to 2 uh, v over 2f. Why the nth harmonic frequency is calculated the same way like that for waves in string. Fn equal to n plus 1 F0, where F0 is the fundamental frequency. Doppler effect is the apparent change in frequency of a wave 
due to relative motion between the source and the observer. And the summary equation in Doppler effect is given by this equation. F0 equal to V plus or minus U0 divided by V minus or plus US F. F0 is the observed frequency, while F is the actual frequency of the source. And now the upper signs in this equation are taken for motion towards. So if the observer is moving towards the source, you take the upper sign which is positive. And when the source is moving towards the observer, you take the upper sign which is negative. The lower signs are used for motion away. The observer is moving away from the source you take the lower sign, which is negative. Observer is moving, a uh, source is moving away from the observer. Take the lower sign, which is positive. Now, for a car on the highway, the speed that is measured by the gendarmes on the highway can be calculated from the speed of light. See, the wave use is light. Uh, the wave use is light. And delta F which is the Doppler shift, the change in frequency between the incident and the reflected. YF is the actual frequency that is sent out by the source. Now, electromagnetic waves in the medium, they are, constitute a family of waves with similar characteristics uh, produced by uh, the deceleration or acceleration of electrons and of course propagate in a medium by the oscillation of the magnetic and the electric fields perpendicular to each other. The, field, uh, the velocity of an EM wave in a medium is given by V uh, is equal to 1 divided by the square root of mu times epsilon. Mu is the permeability of that material, and epsilon is the permittivity of the medium. And now, when the medium is air or vacuum, then the speed is given as 1 divided by mu 0 epsilon 0. Mu 0 permittivity of free air or vacuum, epsilon 0. Mu 0 permeability of free air or vacuum. Epsilon zero permittivity of free air or vacuum. Now, X rays are produced in X ray tubes, or what we call pulsar, through the rapid deceleration of fast moving electrons. When these electrons collide with a tungsten target, and the conservation of energy in an X ray tube is that the electric potential energy. Uh, provides the kinetic energy of the cathode rays or the electrons in the tube and when the electrons collide with the tungsten target they produce x-ray and the quantum of x-ray is having energy h f max where f max is the maximum frequency and of course this final energy of the x-ray is related to the initial energy by HF mass equal to this efficiency multiplied by the electric potential energy. And take note that this F mass is equal to C all over lambda min. So if you make lambda min the subject, it is HC divided by efficiency multiplied by the electric potential energy. Lambda min is the minimum wavelength. Now, in Young's double slit experiment, for bright fringes, we use this expression in calculating A sin theta equal to m lambda. A is the distance separating the slits. Theta is the angular separation. M is the order or position of a bright fringe. And lambda is the wavelength. And for dark fringes, we use this expression in calculation. For bright fringes, 
The distance of the M bright fringe from the central maximum is given by this equation. Why the distance from the M bright fringe from the M bright fringe to the uh, from the central bright fringe to the M dark fringe is given by this equation. And of course, the fringe separation is given by y equal to lambda t over e. Now, for single slit diffraction, we use this equation a sine theta equal to m lambda to calculate to do calculations for dark fringes. M is the position of a dark fringe from the central maximum. Now, y m equal to m lambda d over a gives the distance of the m dark fringe from the central maximum while the width of the central maximum is obtained by 2 y1 where y1 equal to the distance of the first minimum from the central maximum now in diffraction grating we can obtain the Line spacings denoted by small d from the diffract uh, the grating constant denoted by capital N from this equation d equal to one over n and uh, the equation for diffraction grating is d sine theta m equal to m lambda d is the line spacing theta m is the angular separation and m is the order or position of a bright band from the central bright band and lambda is the wavelength so we can equally obtain the maximum order from this equation by letting by saying that at maximum order the sine of theta m is maximum which is one has a maximum value which is one now the missing order denoted by ms is given by maximum order plus one polarization is a method of polarizing of polarization of light or polarization is the selective absorption of light when it passes through a medium and there is the following methods are used we have selective absorption reflection double refraction, scattering, and scattering. Now, the laws obtained from uh, polarization, we have the Manus's law, which gives the intensity that is passed, uh, light passing through a polaroid from one polaroid. And uh, theta here is the angle between the polarizing axis of the two polaroids. Now, we also have the Brewster's law, which is given by the refractive index of a medium, is the tangent of the Brewster's angle. When the Brewster's angle is the angle of incidence when the refracted ray is perpendicular to the reflected ray and the reflected ray is completely plain polarized. Now, we also have the relative refractive index which is given by the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to sine of angle of refraction for light traveling from one medium to another when none of the media is a or vacuum can also be given by the ratio of speed of light in medium one to medium two speed of light in medium two can also be given by the wavelength ratio of the wavelength in medium one to the wavelength of light in medium two and the absolute refractive index is the ratio of the sine i to sine r when the first medium is air or vacuum or can be given by the speed of light in air over the speed of light in medium and uh, this is the relation between the absolute refractive indices and the angle of incidence and refraction now we have the critical angle, which is the angle of incident of uh, incident in the dense or denser medium, for which the angle of refraction in the less dense medium is 90 degrees. 
and total internal reflection is a situation where the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle and light traveling from a denser medium to a less dense medium is totally reflected into the denser medium. Now, in the optical uh, physics, we have the length equation, 1 over f equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v, where f is the focal length, u the object distance, and v the image distance from the lens. The magnification is calculated as the ratio of the image distance from the lens to the object distance from the lens. Uh, in the, the compound microscope, the magnification is given by the product of the magnification of the objective lens to the magnification uh, times the magnification of the eyepiece lens, and given by this expression. And the tube length is calculated using this expression, where Fe is the focal length of the eyepiece, uh, is the focal length of the eyepiece, and of course, this D is the least distance of distinct vision, which has the value minus 25 centimeters. For an astronomical telescope, the magnification is calculated by the object focal length, objective length focal length to the image, uh, eyepiece focal length, equally calculated when the eye is focused at the least distance using this equation. And we saw the photoelectric effect, which is the emission or ejection of electrons from a metal surface when light of sufficient frequency falls on the metal surface. And the equation, Einstein equation of photoelectric effect is that the energy of the photon equal to the work function plus the maximum kinetic energy, which can equally be written in terms of uh, EVS, where EVS is the electric potential energy and VS is the stopping potential. Now, in atomic energy level, the energy trans, uh, transition can be calculated from En minus En prime, where En is the higher en uh, is the energy at the higher energy level. En prime is the energy at the lower energy level. And wave particle duality is the behavior of matter as wave in some situations and as particles in other situations. And uh, the relation between the wavelength when matter behaves as wave and momentum when matter behaves as particle is given by the Broglie's equation, lambda equal to h over P. We saw the emission and absorption spectra, and a spectrum consists of electromagnetic radiation either emitted by an atom or groups of excited atoms, or from the missing radiation corresponding to those absorbed by atoms or groups of atoms due to excitation. Now we have equally seen light sources, and light sources involve every system that produces produces light through the de-excitation of an atomic medium. Now we move to the next section of this lesson, which involves exercises. Exercise one. The least distance between two points in a progressive wave having a phase difference of pi radian is 6.0 centimeters. The waveform of the wave reveals that the duration of 50 cycles is 2.5 milliseconds. The speed of wave in meters per second is... So we need to do some work before we know the correct answer. And here we have been given the phase difference as pi, and this least distance is delta x, which is the path difference. And of course, from this equation, phi equal to 2 pi over lambda delta x, this is the equation of the phase difference, 
we can calculate the wavelength from that equation as 2 pi phi beta x. And when we substitute the value of phi and delta x, we obtain the wavelength as 12.0 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Equally, some information has been given in the question that we have 50 cycles in 2.5 milliseconds. So, meaning that we can obtain the frequency from it as the number of oscillations divided by the time taken. And that gives us 2.0 times 10 to the 4 hertz. And now we have the frequency and the wavelength. We can calculate the speed from it as lambda f, which gives us 2.4 times 10 to the 3 meters per second. And of course, what should be the correct choice? The correct choice should be d. Next, a float has a length of 58.0 centimeters. If the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second, what is the fundamental frequency of the flute? Assuming that the tube is closed at one end and open at the other end. So this is actually waves in closed pipe. And we saw the expression for the fundamental frequency as B all over 4L for waves in closed pipes. B is the speed of sound in air, and L is the length of the vibrating air column, which has been given as 58.0 centimeters. So when we substitute that in that equation, we have 148.8 hertz. And when we are comparing to our choices, we see that 148 is the best choice. Next question. Suppose Young's double slit experiment is performed in air using red light, and then the apparatus is immersed in water. What happens to the interference pattern on the screen? Now, when the setup is inserted in water, what we are going to observe is that the wavelength is going to decrease. The wavelength is going to reduce. Because when waves are traveling from air to water, the wavelengths are closer to, the wave fronts are closer to each other. Therefore, the wavelength reduces. Now, the wavelength are directly proportional to the fringe separation. From the equation, y is equal to m, uh, lambda d over a. So y is directly proportional to lambda, and if lambda decreases, then we expect y, which is the split, uh, free separation, to decrease. So the wave fronts or the bright fringes are closer to each other. Question number four. Which of the following devices makes use of the wave particle duality of matter? We have the light microscope, the electron microscope, the video camera, the cathode ray oscilloscope. The correct choice here is the electron microscope because it involves the diffraction of electrons by a crystal. And if electrons are diffracted, which we know very well that they are particles, it means that they are exhibiting wave-like property because diffraction is a wave is a wave like property question number 5 a plane progressive wave is represented by the equation y equal to 0 0.1 sin 2007 pi t minus 20 pi over 17x where y is the displacement in millimeters t the time in second x the distance from fixed origin o in meters now we find the frequency, wavelength, speed, phase difference between 0 0.25 meters and 1.10 meter, and the equation of the wave with double the amplitude and double the frequency and traveling exactly in the opposite direction. 
And of course, from this equation, the first thing we are looking for frequency. So the frequency is gotten by the coefficient of t, which is supposed to be omega. So omega here will be 2007 pi. But now from the equation omega is 2 pi f, we can make f the subject to be omega over 2 pi, which is omega over 2007 pi divided by 2 pi, and it gives us 1003.5 hertz. And then the next is to calculate the wavelength. We can obtain the wavelength from the coefficient of x here, which is usually 2 pi over lambda. So when we equate 2 pi over lambda, we, we have lambda equal to 1.7 meters. And of course, we calculate k, uh, we, we uh, take k from the equation to determine the speed, and k is al always the coefficient of x, and when k equally is omega over v, and when we substitute the values we have, it gives us the speed. And then the phase difference is obtained from the difference in the uh, distances we have, from the path difference, and uh, given by 2 pi over lambda. Path difference reduces 0 0.8 meters. Lambda is 1.7 meters given us by radius. So we go to the assignment for our next lesson. And in Young's double slit experiment, light of wavelength 5.0 times 10 to the minus 7 meters was used to illuminate the double slit. The slit separation is 0 0.4 millimeters, and the distance from the double slit to the screen is 80 centimeters. Through what distance would the center of the fringe system shift if a sheet of transparent material of refractive index 2.4 and each of, thickness, uh, each of thickness 3 micrometer is placed over one of the slits. So you are expected to do that before the next lesson. The next lesson shall be on magnetic field lines. See you in the next lesson. Unna tege si ma tege yob Unna tege minga ma tege nyum Unna tege ma jang ma tege ndom Ma ne tambia ninya ne njubya yen Ngani bana ma tege mot Ngani la kiri wa tege ndong Esa kina bia jinki do Ma ne tambia ninya ne njubya yen Tam tam amote tam zabike Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia ninya ne injo bia yen 